Hey everyone, Abby with Ready to Red, and I have here in my hands the Garmin InReach Mini. Let's take a look. This little guy right here is packed full with tons of features that are gonna help you if you end up in a crappy situation, or if you just wanna check in with your family, this is great too. So this little thing is about four inches tall, two inches wide, around three ounces. It's not adding any weight to your backpack. It does use the Iridium satellite network, so that means that you don't have to have cell service to use this thing. Your phone could be completely out of service and you can still use this thing. It is easy to use. It does connect to your cell phone through Bluetooth, and that is the best thing about this little device here because it is not friendly to necessarily text on. It's not a touch screen, it has five buttons. An up down button here, it's got an okay button, a back button, and an SOS button. If you don't wanna go through here and use these little dials, you can just connect it to your phone. You download the EarthMate app from Garmin and it automatically connects it through Bluetooth and it's just like sending a regular text message through your phone. You can get weather updates, you can send little breadcrumbs to show where you are, like back to your family members. But if your phone is dead and you're out there with just your inReach, you can still send messages through here and they have preset messages like, I'm okay, starting our trip, anything small like that, you can go in there, hit that preset text message and not have to physically go through the alphabet and make a message. Because like I said, it's very difficult because it's just a handful of buttons on here and it's not a touch screen. This little thing carries a long lasting battery. I've maybe charged it twice, but the way I run this is a last ditch uh, resort kind of thing. I turn it off, throw it in my pack, and if I have to send a message, I turn it back on, and it's lasted me like two years, and I've recharged it literally like maybe twice. If you leave it on the entire time, it's obviously gonna drain down the battery a little bit more, but it's still gonna last you several days and it also depends on if you have the tracking feature on there. If you're dropping little waypoints as you're going into the backcountry, that's obviously going to use some of the battery life a little bit faster. To recharge it, it has a little flip cover right here and has a port and it takes a couple hours to recharge it back up to 100%. If you ever have to hit the SOS button, it's going to send a message to the Geo Center, which is open 24-7 and it's a group of people that are absolute badasses that are going to come into whatever situation you're in and come save you. Hopefully you never have to push that. I never have, but rest assured that you have a life button here. So this is the older version, just the regular Mini in reach, and it comes in around 350 bucks. The new updated version, the Mini 2, rolls around $400. Totally worth the spend if you're gonna be in those kinds of areas. The Garmin InReach Mini, it is definitely rated red approved.